Hi, I'm Dr Zoe Waller and I'm a lecturer in Chemical Biology at the School of Pharmacy at UEA. The aim of this video is to explain our recent research paper to a general audience. It's just been published in Scientific Reports, a Nature Journal. The paper itself is open access, so absolutely anyone else can read it. The links to the paper are included on the YouTube page. The title of the paper is Mitosantron and Analogues Bind and Stabilise IMOT Forming DNA Sequences. The work is the result of a collaboration between the Schools of Pharmacy at UEA, the John Innes Centre and the Institute of Cancer Therapeutics at Bradford. So what's the paper based on? DNA is usually composed of four bases, A, T, C and G. DNA, which is usually composed mainly of the bases G and C, can actually form unusual DNA structures called G quadruplexes and I motifs. These, as you can see from the diagram, look very different to the typical double helical structure which was first proposed by Watson and Crick in 1953. My group is interested in I motifs, which form in DNA which contains lots of the base cytosine, or the C base. So what did we already know about this DNA structure called the I motif? Well, DNA sequences which can form IMO teeth have been used in nanotechnology to make switches. This is because the DNA can fold very easily in the presence of acid. This gives an IMO teeth structure. It is possible to reverse this switch by changing the pH. So if you add base, this increases the pH and then the DNA becomes unfolded again. So this is like an on and an off switch. We also know that I motifs can affect how genes are read. We know that normal gene expression starts at a position in the genome called the transcription start site. Stabilisation of alternative DNA structures can alter how the gene is expressed, or essentially whether it is switched on or off. There are very few compounds which have shown to be able to affect gene expression through targeting the I motif. This is because researchers thought they were only interested, they were only interesting as a pH switch. So what have we found? So we have discovered a new family of molecules which can bind and stabilise the I motif structures in DNA. The best one of them is actually a known drug called mitosantron. Here's the structure of the drug. But also we found that if you have a sequence which is capable capable of forming an I motif and it's unfolded, you can add mitosantron and the DNA folds into I motif and you can do this without changing the pH. So I motif DNA usually needs acidic conditions to form. So this is a very interesting find as the compound can help the DNA fold under physiological or normal body conditions. So what does this mean though? Well mitosantron itself is already it's a known drug and it's used for many different conditions for example metastatic breast cancer, acute myeloid leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It's also used to treat secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. We thought we knew exactly how it binds and interacts with DNA but our research has shown that it can do far more than what we initially thought so we're now currently trying to look at how this drug affects gene expression. This work's been supported by the BBSRC, or otherwise known as the Biotechnology and Biological Sciences Research Council, and also Novartis, who funded a PhD student. If you do have any questions about this research, please feel free to ask either by tweeting me or by email. All of my details I will put on the YouTube webpage. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye for now.